lockdown is, a, is an unhelpful word uh, because there's actually a huge spectrum of possibilities. We've already seen uh, the Japanese safety authorities have already acknowledged there has been some partial melting of the core, which is at the better end of this bad spectrum, uh, but there's a whole spectrum of possibilities. Secondly, melting of the core might release substantial amounts of radioactivity into the environment, but it does not necessarily do so. At the Three Mile Island accident, there was a very large degree of core melting, but actually remarkably little quantity of radiation released into the environment. Uh, to all those out there who say that no one will be harmed by Fukushima, uh, um, it is the biggest lie ever told. Um, I went into central Pennsylvania. Uh, it was nice to see Eric up there um, in the, the year after the accident uh, at Three Mile Island, and I interviewed uh, dozens of people. It was the worst time I ever spent in my life. Uh, uh, cancer, leukemia, birth defects, stillbirths, malformations, uh, open sores, loss of hair, metallic taste in the mouth, animals that couldn't breed. <coughs> it was like being in a, in a science fiction film, a very bad science fiction film. And yet the industry still persists in saying that no one was killed at Three Mile Island. It's a horrible lie. They say not enough radiation escaped from Three Mile Island to harm anybody. They don't know how much radiation escaped. They will never know how much radiation escaped. All the monitors went off scale during Three Mile Island. They, they had a, a thermoluminescent dosimeters which measure radiation where it goes, and there was one um, that went off scale exactly where it was expected in the northwest quadrant where the wind was blowing, and the industry said it was a defective monitor and it didn't mean anything. Uh, that's what the industry does. If you push a button and they have a major disaster, the instant response is always the same. Not enough radiation escaped to harm anybody. That's what they said about Chernobyl. That's what they're saying about Fukushima. And that's what they'll say about the next accident and the accident after that.